Hi everyone, I'm Genevieve. Thanks for joining me today for your 20 minute total body hit workout. This is going to be a calorie scorcher and we are working every muscle group in the body in this workout. There will be some plyometrics, there will be some strength moves, so grab a medium weight if you have one. If not, all the exercises can be done body weight. This workout can be modified for a beginner to an advanced um, exercise practitioner or enthusiast, so please don't feel intimidated that you can't do an exercise or if it feels too hard, then just simply modify. You're really working the same muscles and getting the same benefits out of the exercises at the end of the day anyway. So we are going to torch some calories, we are going to build some lean muscle, and we are going to get those endorphins running high so that they can carry you through the rest of your day. What you need for this workout today is Number one, your body. Options, grab a weighted vest for additional resistance and grab a light or medium weight for a couple of the exercises. What the workout will look like is we are going to cycle through 12 different exercises and repeat them twice. So each exercise we do for 40 seconds and then we take a 10 second break. At the end of the first 12 exercises, I will give you a little longer break, about 30 seconds before we head into the second round. So when you're ready, grab your water, grab your towel if you need one, and let's get going. I should note, I am barefoot training. If you're not used to barefoot training, please strap on your shoes. There will be some jumping involved in this workout, so starting off with a high intensity um, workout, for your first time barefoot training, not a good idea. You won't be able to walk very well later on. So do your research on barefoot training. I'll link a, a podcast of one of my favorite podcasters below on the benefits and reasons why we should train ourselves to barefoot train. And uh, you can do your research and see if it might be something for you. All right, let's get to the workout. Are you ready? I'm excited for this one. Our first exercise today is an inchworm, option to add a push up and 10 high knees. So reach up high, let's go. Walk it out into a plank. Push up is an option from your knees or your toes. Walk it back up and do 10 high knees. Do it again, plant your feet, walk it out into a plank. Push up as an option. You don't have to, we're still warming up here. And 10 high knees. Do it again, on your own time, pace yourself. Push up. And high knees. Good, break. Take your break. Next exercise, three skaters and four jump lunges. It looks like this. One, two, three. Plant your feet, either step back lunges or four plyo lunges. Do it again. Don't forget to breathe. Knee tracks over the ankle in those lunges. I'll turn this way so you can see me. Take a break, take your break. Next exercise, plank kick throughs. So we're setting it up in a plank. Join me here. Step your left foot up to left hand, and then you kick your right foot underneath, lifting the left hand. Other side, step right foot up, then kick your left foot up. Maybe touch the toes. Alternating sides. This one looks easier than it is. Bit of coordination, a ton of strength. Full body move. Feel the legs. Breathe. Come on. You're looking solid. Okay, hop it up. Grab a weight if you're using one. We're coming into two sumo squats, two jump squats. Here we go. Stationary sumo squat, 
Two jump squats, hold that weight. Do it again. Two and two. So, if you don't have a weight, you could use a sandbag if you have one, a heavy purse, something you can hold that's heavy between your legs. Water bottles. Okay, take your break. Here we go. Two push-ups. Two push-ups. One, two, then left knee to elbow for two. Right knee to elbow for two. Stabilization, two push-ups from your toes or your knees. Two left knee to elbow, two right knee to elbow. Look forward of your hands, not between them and not behind you. All right, squat jumps. Now option here, use your weight if you want, or you're just coming into regular squat jumps. So if you're advanced, you're here. Intermediate, maybe you're just letting go of the weight. And if it ever becomes too much, just take it into dynamic squats. Knees track wherever the toes go. Choose your option. I'm gonna go back to my weight, challenge myself. Nice work. Okay, competition burpee and fast feet. So one competition burpee, hop it up into fast feet, follow me. Lower your body all the way to the ground. Lift hands and feet off the floor. Push up position from your toes to your knees. Hop or step it in. Fast feet. Do it again. Competition burpee. Drop it down. Modification, drop to your knees, lower down. Lift hands and feet off the floor. Push up into your knees. Step it up and fast feet. Let's go. One more. Uh, whew, nice work. Skipping. Option, grab your weight. So skipping over high knees. I don't have a rope with me, so I'll just skip here. So this is advanced. Option, you're here. Pretending like you have a skipping rope with those arms, getting them involved, or you're marching on the spot. Choose your level. Looking good. Keep it up. This workout will be done before you know it. Nice. Next one's a little challenging. Four lateral hops, a tuck jump, and a butt kick. Looks like this. One, two, three, four, tuck jump, butt kick. Burn in those legs. Now if this gets too much, I want you to sidestep for four and do two squats. That's your option. You choose your level. Done, okay. Okay, high knees or march it, but we're traveling this time for 10. 
10 high knees, one leap jump forward, and one back. Do it again. Whoops, I forgot to travel that time. Let's go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Forward and backwards. So again, if the jumps are too much, take the jump out. Woo! Holy. What's next? Forward lunge and a twist. Grab your weight if you have one. So we come into forward lunge, twist the weight to the side of the bent knee. Engage through the core. Find more space between the hip bone and the armpit. Weight comes to chest height. Nice. Get down into a plank. Two plank jacks. One, two, two mat jumps. One, two, two plank jacks, two mat jumps. Option, plank jacks, then you can step it over for your mat jumps. But join me if you can. This is our last exercise before a nice long break. Woo. Oh. Take a break, grab some water, bring that heart rate down. You're doing great. So we're halfway through this workout. You know what to expect. What can you do differently to challenge yourself this next round through? Last five. We're back to those inchworms with our high knees. Come on, inchworm it out into a plank, push up as an option, inchworm back, 10 high knees. Option here, hop it, push up, hop it in, 10 high knees. Come on, do it again. Inchworm it or burpee it out. 10 seconds to go. Take your break, 10 seconds. Then we head into those three skaters and four jump lunges. Let's go. Set it up before you start jumping. Knee tracks over the ankle. Drive through the heels. Come on, 10 seconds left. Woo. Break, take your break. Plank kick throughs, remember these? A little bit more practice. Let's go, plank it out, step up left foot, kick through right. Plank, step up right foot, kick through left. Maybe you're tapping that toe. Just keep the body moving. As long as you have proper form and you're pushing yourself, I don't care how slow or fast you're going. It'll feel so good at the end. 
you'll feel accomplished, feel successful. Good, bring it back up. Grab your weight if you're using it. Two sumo jumps, two jump squats. Sorry, two sumo squats, two jump squats. Breathe on the way up. Breathing in the work when it's hard. Oh, come on, almost there. 15 seconds. You got this. You've got this. What words are you using to get yourself through this workout? They better be positive. Woo! Drop that weight. Actually, keep that weight. We're coming into jump squats. Sorry, I lied. Two push-ups. Two push-ups. Knee to elbow. Left knee to elbow twice. Right knee to elbow twice. Push-ups. Two of them. Left knee to elbow. This is a core burn. Right knee to elbow. Two push-ups. Grab your weight. Jump squats. Let's go. With or without your weight. Maybe you're a bit more conditioned this time. Add a bit more speed, a bit more resistance. Or maybe you're working on your stationary squats, getting form proper. Whatever you're doing, is exactly what you should be doing. You know your body. Oh, last five. A few more. Woo. Quad burn, holy. Grab some air. Move that weight. Competition burpee, fast feet. Let's go. All the way down to the ground. Lift hands and feet, push it up. Hop or step it in, fast feet. One, two, three, four. Hop it down again. Hop it in. One, two, three, four. Come on. Push. Come on, last 15. Three, four. Are you sweating? Is your heart beating? Come on, all the way down. Woo! All right, we are on to skipping or high knees. I'm gonna challenge myself using my weight this time. Join me here, do your skipping with your arms and an imaginary rope or you're marching on the spot. Keep it up. You look great. We're almost through. Don't stop now. 20 minutes. That's all you need. Woo! Are you ready? Do you remember what's next? Four lateral hops, tuck, jump, butt kick. Here we go, tuck, butt kick. Do it again. Tuck, butt kick.
Oh yeah, feeling good. Right at the end. One more. All right. Get some air. We're heading into 10 traveling high knees and your leap jumps. Let's go. Hop it forward, hop it back. You got it. Ten high knees. Hop forward, hop it back. Stick with your pace. Whether you're faster or slower than me, keep it up. One more jump. We're getting there, guys. We're so close. Forward lunge and a twist. Grab your weight. Here we go. Weight to chest height and twist. Keep those hips stable. Twist is above the waist. Draw that core in, no sway back. Body's upright. We're so close. How are you feeling? Woo! Okay, step it in. Drop that weight. Two plank jacks, two mat jumps. This is the finale. Let's go, plank it out. Two plank jacks, two mat jumps. So like you're hopping over an imaginary mat or a bar, shoulders over wrists the whole time. It's a cardio move, it's also a core move and an arm move and a leg move, full body. Almost there. Come on guys, let's go my friends. Listen for it. Complete. That completes your 20 minute full body hit cardio workout. Strength workout too. 20 minute full body hit workout. Grab some air. Keep those legs moving, okay? Blood is running rampant through the body. Those blood vessels are nice and dilated. We don't want blood to pool. Woo. That feels good. Okay, let's come into a really quick stretch here. Step back with the right foot, drop the right knee, lift the arms up, pull the hips back. Plant your right hand to the inside of the left foot. Easy twist it up. Exhale it down, left hand to left knee. Maybe holding on for a quad stretch here. If this is too much, you can stand up to do a traditional quad stretch, which looks like this. Go to where you feel a good stretch. All right, let's meet in our low lunge. Shift the hips back, kick up the front toes for a half split. Heart rates are high still. Use the breath, slow it down. Good, step into the left foot, step into the right foot, just forward fold here, hang it down. Relax. Nice effort today. Step back with the left foot. I hope you got an awesome workout. Lift up the arms. Drop the left hand, easy twist up. Slow, deep breaths. Exhale, half splits, hamstring stretch. Right toes face up towards the ceiling. Pull the right hip back. We did lots of leg work, lots of shoulder work. 
step into the right foot for a quad stretch or feel free to come into a standing position to do this one. Pull the hips back in space. Exhale, release. Step into both feet, forward fold again. Good, inhale, roll the spine all the way up. And let's come into our seated pigeon. So plant into the right foot, left uh, ankle crosses over the right thigh, sit it back. You can hold on to something here. Alternatively, you can do this pose um, or this stretch seated as well, just to give you a bit more balance. You can lean into your hands. The farther up your body is towards your ankle, um, the more intense this posture will be. So choose where you're at. Good, exhale, slowly release, coming into other side. So whether you're standing or seated, body's starting to cool down. Do you feel the endorphins running? They feel good, hey? Way better than coffee or any stimulant. Exhale, release. And everybody come to stand, come up slowly. Interlace the hands behind your back, pull the wrists down towards the ankles, opening up through the front of the chest and the shoulders. All right, now if you're still feeling like your heart rate's really fluttering up there high in that high zone, please just keep the feet moving, do some toe touches, let your body come down naturally before you head off into whatever else you're doing. Feel free to stretch some more, really make sure you're nice and cooled down, maybe foam roll, maybe try a quick 10 minute yoga video, I have lots on my channel to choose from. Otherwise, I will see you in the next class. If you have requests, comments, feedback, please, please drop me a line below because I want to develop content that you want to use and things that you feel will be effective for your body. So until next time, happy exercising. Make those gains. Bye.